<laughs> Where's the water dragon? Yeah, catch it, catch it. Hey, crikey! It's a water dragon! Just your first pond clean in Australia. <laughs> it is. Am I doing it the right yeah, way? Yeah, yeah. No, the water's, you've got to hold the hose the other way, but yeah. I had some friends recently travelling around Australia with their two children, six and nine. On a tight schedule, they said we can only stay a night, so they turned up and the kids got as far as here. Dropped all the pond <laughs> and just jumped into the pond, and four days later, parents were saying, come on kids, we've got to hit the road, they loved it. I'm Greg Witsock the Ponga. This is my channel, Greg Witsock the Ponga. And now we're going to check out a beautiful Aquascape Recreation water feature. What do you think, Brian? She got in touch about four years ago. Didn't want a swimming pool, wanted something she'd cool off in, wanted water in an area. This area here, there was nothing. There was one, you can sort of see part of the building. The view needed to start from here, and this is the kitchen. kitchen. The view from the kitchen is the most important because people spend a great deal of time in the yeah. kitchen. Yeah. Bringing the pond too close to the house would mean the only time you could see it, it would be if you leaned over the railing, yes. which doesn't make any sense. So this one, we actually pushed further away and I don't know if you can see this guys but I think Patrick's done geniusly is really created a destination spot it's not that the pond is the destination that but the whole outdoor living area becomes a destination you spot spend, you can actually take your dinner there's a barbecue area over there to go there and you can disappear for the whole evening there was nowhere directly down to lead you to it so this was it this was really necessary to do I had another destination just here sit down have a cup of tea you're closer again and then down again. My favorite designs are the ones that create that mystery. Every step you take, the sound of water gets louder and louder and louder. And then it's like the discovery is just amazing here. And so the first thing you're greeted by is this pond. This is an upper pond there. The, the, the design here was looked like a continued Yep. Through. So you got that feeling, put a deck over, you got a bridge going over, no water there. Was this one put in first? No, down at the same time. Yeah, we did this one, worked through, and then we continued on with this, sort of the same time thing. We didn't want to connect them because this is a swim pond and we want to maintain, have control over the water quality. And in Australia, also don't want to get too, the water too warm because you get algae problems. And oh, yeah, yeah, that makes so, a lot of sense. I'd like to keep them fairly, fairly close together, the, the systems. I mean, they're, they're separated anyway. And so it definitely has the feeling that it comes right underneath here. But just behind this is the skimmer box and this great little feature, and what an incredible sound. It had to happen, so this felt like it was sitting over water. I mean, that's the same thing happening here. You've got water coming right up to the edge of this deck. Same thing there, it feels like you're passing over a pond. As we come up into this space, I mean, instinctively you go to the left because that's where the sound is generated from. Everybody's always drawn to the sound, right? And so you come to the left, you check out the waterfall. It's absolutely incredible. I just love it killer job on hiding the point of origin yeah. it really has the feeling that it comes out of the bush the rainforest yeah, over there, right over there. like way yeah. off into the distance the topography is just right you didn't create a volcano that gives it a false illusion of anything it really looks like it can come out from that area yeah. and then after your mind is rested for a second and you kind of step back you want to discover more of and because of the elevations on the deck which I think is genius because it creates character you're pulled this way, and then you get to here, and this is this is like the Mecca part of it. Oh my gosh, like look at how incredible this is. It's a pond, but it's still a swim pond. These are the units that you can have water lilies and things around you. What's keeping this clean? Like, you don't have an intake bay on this. We have a skimmer box. We have a skimmer on this. Uh-huh, skimmer box. Yeah. So this is actually a wetland. Yeah, this is a wetland here. And actually, it's, you treat it like a perennial aquatic garden. So. so what looks to be just the overflow of this pond over here, which actually terminates right about here, and there's a skimmer box just on the other side of this. Mm. There's a wetland filter here, and so water again comes up through aqua blocks, through a bunch of different size aggregates, and then through the roots of all these plants. Look at the size of the elephant here, and Patrick sitting next to it definitely gives it some perspective. And as he gets in there, like, no, 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 it really gets, I mean, it's taller than he is by about a couple feet. It's a jungle. 
I always say putting aquatic plants into a wetland filter is like having the plants on a constant fertilizer tablet. They're just fed with these nutrients. And so all ponds need to be accessible, right? And here, so here's this swim pond. It feels like we're pretty high up. You've got this raised deck here, and I just love this little section here. So there's a small little area, perfectly sized and to scale as we can come down here and then just get right down next to it. And then these things, I've got to figure out how to get these back home. These big giant sandstone blocks. And what a great way to incorporate them into the design because they give you the height that you need and we're at about 1.6 meters. So about five feet deep here, stacked on top of each other. But the nice thing about these blocks is they don't have the girth that big boulders would, right? So it gives us that clean wall. Yeah, it gives you the profile. On it. Yes. And not as much space used up, and I love this formal feel in a natural pond. And then we get off into here, and oh my gosh, and there's the Patrick Signature Stone bringing out a couple boulders away from the edge, which just needs to happen more and more on all ponds. We've got some big boulders off in the distance, and then the landscape really just finishes it. There was just this building here and nothing else. In fact, this was secondary as well, so we came in as close as we could so that we could incorporate these steps into it, and there was, there was a lawn. Wow. And that was it. Why you decided to go with a concrete floor on this one? Sometimes you have the full pebble. I really actually don't mind, just in the plunge zone, just putting a concrete floor over the liner, over the uh, membrane, just to create. Some clients want to uh, come down and feel a solid surface when they jump in and it doesn't go to rocky underfoot when they're driving in. It's also really easy to sort of pick up any leaf matting that you oh. have access to it and easy to clean it. It's not sort of hidden there with the pebble and hard in the process. But we still have the pebble all up in the marginal terraces. And you might get a few fall down and that sort of thing, but it doesn't affect it. And we're also putting in a fleck, uh, the black fleck or a, a white fleck and exposing that and you get more light reflection. Oh. So you get that colour in your thought pond as well. Nice. Uh, especially when you've um, got a clear blue sky. How old is this project? About three and a half years. Three and a half years. Yeah. And Unbelievable. So can you imagine all of this from here all the way to here being boring lawn and in three and a half years, they have a hidden natural spring artesian swimming hole. This is in an out, I don't know what it is in feet, 21 by 15 or something uh -huh. like that, around there somewhere. But around about 45,000. And that's with wetland, you skim this, this lighting, there's lighting in this, we have jetting, the aquatic plantings, uh, the concrete in this one as well. Not the landscape Not and the landscape, yes. all this other yeah, stuff. I can't imagine there's a person in the world that comes back here that says, how do I get this in my yard? In fact, I was talking with the guy that's helping do some of the cleanup around the yard here. Yeah. He really needs to talk to you about getting one of these in his yard. Yeah. <laughs> and I was just saying, a guy turned up in the front yard the other day and I went out and said, you know, can I help you? And he said, oh, I was talking to some guy in town. <laughs> and he said, you gotta go out and look at Robin's pond. He wants one. If you wanna to get to know your neighbors, build a pond. Yeah. The curiosity alone kills people. They, yeah. What are you talking about? They have a thing that you can swim in and jump off of the deck and... You know, my neighbor's grandchildren, when they come up, they always be lying <laughs> water. We grew up in swimming in rivers and creeks right? and stuff like this. So Absolutely. Much, much better on your eyes than a swimming pool. Yeah, there's not, you don't have all the chemicals. I'm jealous and Greg, I'm gonna say it again. I know you helped me build a pretty incredible pond in my own backyard, but uh, I'm pretty sure sections of it are getting ripped out to recreate something more like this. Well, if we're getting inspired, Brian, to, we're coming out and visiting our customers' water features. Imagine what people that don't really even know about water features yet. The whole point of us starting a vlog is that people can get inspired to live the aquascape lifestyles. I just got done spending 30 minutes in there. Patrick's just jumped in right now. And I might go throw my swimsuit on. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I had a sort of an idea about what I wanted. They kind of knew, so, and you could tell that they loved what they did. So you yeah, felt that you could trust them to actually get it right. If we don't like it when we're done, we'll, we'll stop and redo it. You kind of had an idea, but was there a drawing? Was there... A, what I call a mud map, really. <laughs> a mud map. Yeah, that was about it. A round thing here and a sort of a <laughs> here. There's a leap of faith for a customer to, to hire somebody. So a mud map or, or a rough sketch obviously does not help you visualize what this is gonna look be in the future, right? Right. So of course, at some point, you take this giant leap of faith and trust into somebody that's very passionate about it.
So Brian, what do you think? I just love it, right? And, and I was excited to see this one because Patrick said he called it, what'd you call it? Like more of a micro swim pond or a compact, compact right? Yeah. It doesn't feel compact at all. It feels really, really big. The landscaping is amazing. Something Mark was saying over here about how great it is to see these projects and as they've evolved. Like he hasn't been here in a bit, and so to see yes. not only the landscape evolve, but how they make it their own between the different artwork that shows up, the deck, you know, is changed and that kind of stuff. Isn't it fun to visit your customers, Patrick? So here I am in a recreation pond out here in Queensland, Australia. And I gotta tell you, this is about as relaxing as you could possibly get. Who would want a swimming pool when you can get this instead? You got water lilies, you've got waterfalls, you've got aquatic plants, you've got an awesome little pergola area over there. Skimmer system, wetland filtration system, just the whole kit and caboodle. What's so interesting for me is that so many people don't realize what they can have. They just think traditional swimming pools. This is a natural, with aquatic plants, natural bacteria. This is how people grew up. People did not grow up going to chlorinated swimming pools until the last maybe 100 years. This is much healthier for you. This is much more natural. And who wouldn't want to swim with the waterfalls and aquatic plants? I absolutely love my job. Hey, if you guys like this stuff, please like, comment, and share so more people can see what living the Aquascape lifestyle is all about. Oh, no, no, no.